Hey YouTube, it's Christopher here from Cars Unlocked. Today I'm with special guest Nelson Mason of Audi Niagara Trio, and we're here. He's gonna take this Audi out for a rip, and let's see how it drives. Guys, I'm super pumped here. Nelson's brought the 2019 Audi RS5 Sportback. He's the expert on this at St. Catharines Audi. He's gonna tell us all about it. I'm very happy not to be filming a Nissan for you today. Let's hear what you have to say about the front. So this is the 2019 Audi RS5. So this is made by Audi Sport, a division of Audi, which is purely their performance division. So a lot of it is hand-built, actually. It's a very, very limited production vehicle. Um, really what we have up here is the monster of the, the whole being. Uh, 444 horsepower, twin turbo V6, 2.9 liter. Um, Crazy. It's what you'll see in the Porsche Panamera 4S. It's just tuned a little bit better in this one. This here has the carbon optics package. So full, yeah, full carbon fiber full fire. valence. Um, couple things that you'll notice so we have full LED lighting we actually also will have matrix lighting which is something we can talk about later but uh, this which looks like a fog light that's actually our full safety technology sensor so active cruise oh, the lane guidance the there? absolutely wow. full emergency braking everything right from that sensor there so tell me about the back Nelson I'm noticing this massive dual exhaust it's like the size of a trombone I can't wait to hear it roar tell me what we're working with back here so this is our, our blacked out sports exhaust system uh, so this does assist in the power delivery but like you say it's it, again it's a staple of Audi Sport and RS you get those massive like you say trombone like exhaust so they're absolutely stunning they roar like crazy RS5, that's the big thing that everybody cares about. This thing will absolutely fly. And then uh, just a cool thing, we have dynamic tail lights. So you put the blinker on, it shows you the direction that it's going. Rather than just flashing, it eases out to the outside. Just cool little things that Audi does. We have the, the massive, massive piston calipers here. Um, again, Audi Sport, so it's a specific break to this package. This is the milled cut wheel. So uh, it's it's a single piece, massive, massive uh, 20 inch alloy wheel, but it's all specific to realistically being ready for the track. So performance tire, performance uh, performance alloy that's, um, let's say lightened mat really, really greatly over a standard car wheel. And then the huge, huge brakes, which really prevent fade. Um, we can see here that they're completely vented discs. So really to stay cool while on track, but uh, that's your stop power right there. Wow. The nice thing with the Sportback, so we have the uh, the hatch which opens up and actually makes it uh, super, the usability is, is fantastic. Yeah, so I'm pumped to see the cargo space of the Sportback. Yeah, so foot up, activated. Foot access, awesome. And uh, yeah, so I mean Holy we have smokes. a ton of room back here. Obviously we have our spare underneath this here. This can pop out, but this is just your privacy cover. And then of course we still have the lay down seat so uh, 40, 20, 40. Yeah, this can come in a two-door or a four-door. This is the four-door model, obviously, and that gives you the usability back here. So let's talk about the power plant. Under the hood, Nelson, it's a very, very heavy hood to open. Holy smokes. So this is 2.9 liter twin turbo V6. So uh, not a huge displacement engine, but huge, huge power output. So 444 horsepower. The biggest number that we care about is 443 pound-feet of torque. What you'll usually see is a, a lot of power, a small torque number, and then you know it doesn't feel quite as powerful as you would think. This, the power delivery is massively intense. With the twin turbos, you don't have turbo lag. It's, it's power at pretty much every RPM. So anytime you want to go, you go. 
And then this has the full carbon fiber uh, engine cover. Um, we can see all of our intake okay, ducting. So even under the hood, they put the carbon fiber. Nice little subtle touch there. Just everything, just to lighten it up a little bit, obviously to keep with the heritage of Audi Sport as well. So the exterior is sick. Nelson, I'm super pumped. I want to go for a drive. I want to show you this. Look at these frameless windows. The windows uh, seamless right with the door there. Phenomenal. As you open it, it pops down and allows you to get in. So Nelson's finally behind the wheel. I'm excited to get this thing on the road. Just full disclosure here, guys. Nelson Mason is a professional race car driver. He drove, prof like how many years did you drive professionally for? Uh, I've been driving professionally for, I guess, 25 years now. 25 years, um, what was it, F-Series? Yeah, so I raced uh, all the way up to Formula 2. Formula 2, so. Um, he might scare the shit out of me a little bit, but I know I'm gonna be okay. Uh, you guys are gonna come along for the drive. A beauty with Audi, we do have, like, we can start with the virtual cockpit. So we have all of our information that we could ever want right in their virtual co cockpit, be it our power, our torque. With this car, we can do lap times and everything like that. And we also have our navigation settings. Now, when we click this, we can bring our navigation full map. We don't have to have it here, we can have whatever we want here we can have our oh, vehicle wow. for example so seamless as you just threw through that it's really a, a tremendous tremendous what they call their MMI the multimedia interface it really is a tremendous system um, with this car being such a sport model a big thing with it is its adaptability so we can realistically adapt how we want our driving style to be I have it in individual right now but if I just click over we can see all of the options that we have to adjust so, for example, we can adjust our engine, we can adjust our uh, suspension, which I like it in comfort mode. It's a little bit smoother with this car. What I really like, um, all that carbon fiber stuff we mentioned outside really continues throughout the inside. And then there's this nice suede. Is that suede on the on the door here? Like all throughout the door and Absolutely. the Absolutely. So we have Alcantara through the interior. Um, with the Sport, what they like to do is they do like to keep all the headliner black and everything so that your focus really is on the driving aspect. One thing you'll notice is the comfort of the seats. So oh, yeah. for sure you're hugged into the seat. Obviously this is a, a race bred sports seat. Now to the front left you'll see a little silver ring on the front bottom of your seat. Yep. So if you click that, it brings you oh, up wow. here. Right so we can adjust here. we can adjust our lumbar and then here is your massage. So you have your lower no. lumbar, your side lumbar. I like my side lumbar pretty tight. So that's tight. your side, this is my side? Yeah. You're a oh slim guy, God. you're a fit guy, you will want it a little bit stiffer. Wave, stretch, knee. And then now you just go down and then there is your massage. Oh my God, I can feel it with my love handles. <laughs> Yeah, the seat really hugs you. And that's crazy, my girlfriend would like that. All right, you're gonna do one solid launch. Let's see you lift it off here, buddy. So you still have full manual mode. So the nice thing with an RS is you would use the manual mode when you're on the track and it does allow your full control of the um, transmission. So you have your paddle shifters. Yeah. They really do work and then it brings our information up on the screen. So it tells us when a good time to shift is and when the perfect time to shift is. flash at you as you get closer to the rev limiter. Yeah, I saw it go off there, but you had almost 7,000 RPMs. Yeah, and, and the car will just continue to go. There's really no lag or, or anything like that in the acceleration. But again, we can feel how abrupt the bumps are on this uh, stretch of road. When we switch to the individual mode, it immediately smooths out the bumps and it changes the car dynamically quite significantly. Crazy. So there you have it guys, special thanks to Nelson. Go check out their channel, Audi Niagara Trio. Subscribe to them if you wanna see more. He does a lot of Audi reviews, driving test drives. Check it out to see some Audis.